Hello everybody, this is Aaron with Coast Pro EMR and in this video I'll be showing how to add a provider schedule and how to integrate with Google Calendar. To start, go to Administration, Provider, and then go to Provider Schedule. Then select someone from the drop-down, let's say John Chris, and click Go. And here you're going to see two tabs, one for Schedule List, the other for Setting. We're just going to go to Setting. And from here, you're going to start by adding a schedule name. So for example, if you're going to be setting your hours for the month of January, you can just name it January calendar, something like that. And then next you're going to add an effective date, which is basically the start date. And you have the option to also add a stop date so that the schedule recursion ends at that day. If you leave it blank, then it will just continuously duplicate your weekly schedule until you stop it. Please note that you can also have multiple schedules. Just click the add weekly button up here at the top right and this would be useful in the case that you have different schedules per month here we have the written instructions and below that is where you can select the weekly time schedule you can set what times you start and what times you end for that specific day and if you're not working that day then you can also check off the closed box on the right we also have this toggle for break times that will also repeat in your schedule one thing to note is that the block time must be within the primary availability hours which are these start and end times here. So what I have here on this calendar is that I basically don't work, uh, at least this provider doesn't work on Mondays, Saturdays, Sundays, and that the days that they are working, it's gonna be from nine to 3 p.m., except on Thursday where they're gonna have a break uh, from 11 to 12 p.m. And this is gonna recur every single week until they add a stop date or they add another schedule and hits that schedule instead. All right, so once done, I just click save or update down here. And if I go to today's uh, appointment calendar, I can see that uh, it's it's showing properly. So this is a Thursday, so it's seeing uh, 9 to 3 p.m. And that we have that recurring block time from 11 to 12 p.m. Now, going back to the provider schedule right here. Let's do John Chris again. And here we have schedule list. So this is for adding custom hours for specific days. Uh, so if you click on add schedule, you'll be prompted to this area right here where you have to select a specific day. So let's say on the 10th, and then you can change your start and end times. You can also click add more to break up that time block within. So let's just go back. And over here we have uh, this one that I saved from before for January the 10th I, I'm only going to be working from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. that day right so let's just go back to today's appointment and then we're just going to jump ahead to the 10th click OK and right here it has changed accordingly and so this whatever you have in the list setting that's going to take priority over what you had in the recurring schedule settings section um, and then, of course, this is also going to affect the online booking availability for the provider as well so that everything matches up correctly. And moving on to integrate with Google Calendar, just go to Administration and then Provider. And then here is the Google Calendar tab. Select Provider, let's say Aaron Johnson for this one. And so it's going to look a little different because this one's already connected. I believe once you select the provider, your Gmail is going to pop up and you just log in there. But afterwards, it's going to look just like this. And all you have to do is make sure that this is toggled on to connect. And where it says calendar ID, you just type in the Gmail of the account. And after that, you just click save and you should be good to go. And so this will make the connection so that anytime you create an appointment, it will also appear on your Google Calendar. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.